Hello guys, in today's video I will share with you a few tips on how to organize your PhD proposal and how to get ideas and how to develop it. It's been a few months that I've been writing my PhD proposal and I got a lot of tips from many different professors and that's why I, I thought it could be really nice to share them with you today. When you start your grant proposal, you want to get an original new idea. You want to keep it sharp and focused and you want it to be groundbreaking. It has to be a groundbreaker. Why? Because you want it to be original, new and transferable. So everyone will want to work on it. Uh, I made a, an interview of a professor who spoke about this really nicely. It's Professor Bodar from Lille. I will put the link in the description down below. It's, it's amazing how he spoke about this and it really gives you ideas and yeah, you definitely should watch it out. What he's saying is that we should read the literature at the beginning, so you read a lot and then you decide like, okay, is it known? Is it not known? If it's not known, why? Hasn't it been done? And then you have an anger. You can directly go to it and decide, okay, it's not done. Okay, how can I handle it? How can I investigate this? And also when you read, try to have a, a holistic approach, which basically means you have to read a lot and to think about different fields, like in clinical studies, preclinical studies, the molecular level, at the physiological level. Think about everything together. What would a doctor think about your preclinical approach. Is it transferable to humans or is it not? All these things you should try to consider them. Speak about it with a lot of people. This is also really useful. Try to be original, ambitious and realistic. You have to show that the project can be done within three or four years. Speak about it with people, ask tips, ask uh, ideas from your supervisors. All these things are really important to make your proposal good, to have a good quality proposal. When you are writing your proposal, it's important to divide it into sections and then into subsections. Because then it's really clear, don't hesitate to put words in bold, to underline, and all these things to make it really easy to, to read and to understand. When you have a look at it, you directly get which point is which, instead of having just three pages of text. So how to organize it? One you will speak about the research topic. Start general, go to specific. It can be about one page, one page and a half. Then um, you can also add a picture, an image, which will allow to, in which you explain the mechanisms or something about the topic, which will make it e easier for everyone to understand. Um, and once you're specific enough, state uh, the research gap, on your hypothesis. Clearly state the aim of a project. The aim of my project is to investigate, to determine, to, 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 to. And then state the key objectives. The first objective is to investigate if blah, blah, blah. And you state this clearly. It, it has to be, you can put in bold the aim of a PhD because it has to be clear what is the aim of it. When you move to the approach, what model will you use? Uh, what animal model? How will you investigate um, this aim? How will you respond to the question? Um, and then you, you divide the project into studies. In my PhD proposal, I had three studies. So when you make three subsections with, in which you write study one, the name of the study, and then you start quickly, quickly mentioning what you did, what you want to do, etc. And what is also really important is to um, be precise about the protocol. What's the dose you want to inject for how long, how many days? Um, what behavior do you want to investigate, etc. All these things are really important. So it makes sense to the people that you know what you want to do and that everything is already has been thought already. For each study, mention what you will do, how you will do it, and why you will do it. This allows to be really clear. In a few sentences, you can be really 
sharp and focus into each study. And you can also add an image of the experimental approach in which to make it really clear and easy to, to see what you want to do. This is also really helpful. Um, then add a Gantt chart. So it's a little graph in which you put the years. Uh, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and you put each uh, study to show that it's feasible within three years. This is also really important to show that the project, while being ambitious, it still is feasible. Quickly mention the cost and how they are handled, who is paying for everything if experiments are expensive, and also explain how is your project relevant to the research group in which you are. So if you work in a group with depression and your project is about an Alzheimer's disease, maybe it doesn't fit, or maybe it does even you speak about depression in Alzheimer's disease, but you have to explain it. How does it fit into the research group? And then the third part is innovation, relevance of a project. What does your project bring to science, society, technology? Why is it important? What does it shed light on? Why is the project original? Why is it a groundbreaker? Why, what are, how original are the methods, the techniques? And this can be really short, like half a page or something. And then at the end, you put the the reference. And using this method, this method I, I think I got a really good quality proposal. There are still things to improve. But I think if you try to follow these guidelines and these tips, you will have a really good proposal. If you want to improve your writing, I also made another video on it, so I will put the link in the description or just over there. So if you enjoyed that video, just press the like button, subscribe so you don't miss the next video on how to present your PhD proposal, and I'll see you next week. Ciao!